Hello, in this lesson, I want you to use the definition of similarity to identify similar polygons. I want you to solve problems by using the properties of similar polygons. So the vocabulary you're going to come across are similar polygons, similarity, transformation, and scale factor. If we look at our first problem here, a definition of similar shapes, it's a transformation is a similarity transformation if and only if it's a sequence of dilations and rigid, transform and rigid motions, like rigid motions being reflection, rotation, translation. Further, two figures F and G are, are similar, written as F tilde G, which is similar, if and only if there's a similarity transformation that takes one figure into another figure. If we take a look at our first diagram here, I want to know, are these two polygons similar? Now please note that we have different scales for our x and y axis. We're going to two across for my x coordinates, but it's only one up and down for my y coordinate, so this is two by one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna translate this rectangle down in the corner so h is at zero, zero. I think it's a lot easier, easier to see when we just translate it so it's right here in the corner. So I've got h and g and f and e. I'll do the same thing for the other rectangle. I'm going to take that and I'm going to translate that so D is at 0, 0. So I'm going to go 6 across and up 3. And notice this is a similar transformation. The reason it is is because it's 6 across and 3 up versus two across and one up, I multiply by a factor of scale factor of three. So K would be my scale factor of three. So these are similar. Now let's take a look at example two. I'm going to take PQR and notice this time I have the same scale. So Q to R goes over 3. So I'm going to put Q right here at the corner of 0, 0. And then R is going to be up at 3. And then P is going to be up at 4. So there is my triangle. Maybe make it a little tad bit thicker for you so you can see it a little bit better. Now... I'm going to take T, I'm going to reflect that, so T is in the corner. See if you can see. So I'm going to put T in the corner. U is going to be over two, three units. So U is going to be right here. And S is going to be up two, four, six units. And notice those do not look the same, do they? Because I don't multiply by the same scale factor, so these are not similar. You have to have the same scale factor, the same dilation. 